It's a little chilly start to the beginning of the week. Today it's Monday and temperatures are in the teens and lower 20s right now. So bundle up folks, layer up, put on your hats and gloves as it is feeling cold outside for your morning commute. Our average should be around 33 degrees. We will pretty much hit that today with an average low of around 17. So we are right on track. Take a look at a record low, 14 below zero in 1976. Wow, that was cold. Not quite as cold outside right now, but we will get a little bit more colder, especially by Wednesday into Thursday. High temperatures in those low to mid 20s and lows in the single digits with a feels like temperature well below zero because it will be windy Wednesday into the Thursday time frame. Then by the weekend, temperatures will still be a little bit on the cooler end in the 20s and lower 30s. Right now we do have some partly to mostly cloudy skies. We will continue to have some increasing clouds throughout the day today because of another low pressure system right over here to the west. Doesn't look like much right now in Canada, but it will continue to develop. And as it does, it will continue to push east and we will get in on some action. So by overnight tonight, by the morning hours tomorrow, especially we'll have a little bit of rain and snow. Then into the afternoon hours, we'll have that rain and snow line. Look at that right over our town. So it is really going to be a hard one to figure out if it's going to be a lot more in snow or rain. But here for us, we will have a good amount of snowfall into the overnight hours on Tuesday, into the morning hours, lingering before finally starting to move out of the region. And then we'll see a good amount of sunshine Thursday into Friday. So we're thinking maybe three to five, six inches of snow here in town. A lot less the more east you go. And then a lot more the more north and west you go, where some locations north of Ashland and Iron Counties might even get close to 10 inches of snow. So it will continue to pile up. And because of all that snow, we do have some winter storm watches in effect that will get upgraded to winter storm warnings probably within the next six hours or so. Here in town, we're looking at winter weather advisories that will most likely be possible. Today, though, temperatures will continue to rise, hovering near average in those mid 30s, mostly cloudy skies. But look at that wind out of the southeast at 10 to 20 miles an hour. So that feels like temperature. It's going to feel a lot colder than that actual reading of 35. Tonight, though, temperatures will be hovering in those lower 30s. And then we start to get a little bit of some snow flurries, some freezing drizzle, some mix of rain and snow. And then throughout the day tomorrow, some rain and snow as our seven day outlook brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress does show that rain and snow becoming all snow later in the day into the overnight hours, lingering into Wednesday. And then by Thursday into Friday, we start to clear up and same thing by the weekend.